How did you know that I'm the one? You? Yeah. Mm. You don't know, ne? He doesn't no, even no, know. No, I do. I'm going to tell you. You're still thinking? No. It's eating only. <laughs> but are you? Okay, it's eating because he doesn't. Because he has him. No. It's um, beginning to eat it's now. It's mm -hmm. um, Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to this episode. We are back. We've been gone for mm, a very long, for a long time. time. Yeah, it has been long. Yeah, eh? like two. Without seeing the, the husband. I think it's been since lockdown 2020 since yeah. 2020 so hey. it's like four years four years yeah. your husband was not in picture <laughs> he was not in picture but the husband is back hi guys how are you <laughs> all right so today we're going to be talking about a topic that a lot of young people mm, would um, like to know would like to know yeah how do you, i know that this is the, the one, one. yes hey, how hey, do you know that like this is you how did you know that i was the one uh, <laughs> Yes. Did I even know that I, you were the one? Yeah, how did you know? That child is big. All right. So, um, how did I know that you were the one? Mm. What made you to to think that I was the one? Hey, it's it's like ten years ago. I don't even remember. But I don't. Maybe you can tell us how. Yeah, I was looking for someone that I would spend more time with. Someone who loved me the way you know the way that I was. So uh, when I first came and see you, remember? Yeah, when I first saw you there, you know, I thought, yeah, this girl was nice. Uh, uh, this you, girl? Yeah, I mm -hmm. thought that, that girl, yeah, this girl, she was nice. Um, the way you entertained me before I even proposed to you. Remember when um, this friend of mine left you and you were seeing other friend there, and when we were talking in that uh, white polo that I had with the red boot, he remember that one. Yeah. So like the way you talked to me, uh, I longed to to talk to you. Cause I'm a sweet woman. Eh? Mm. I'm a so, very sweet like, one. So like it was nice chatting with her. Then it came that uh, we had to visit to the church, to the church, mm. and we visited him. So like you know. He made space for me and said, ah, this is interested, you know. No, <laughs> you were just a guest. I was being nice. No, yeah, that's, you know, that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, the attribute that she showed me that, yeah, and she was a good person, you know, with a good heart. Someone who was, like, willing to open up. So, so I had a good heart. Mm -hmm. hey, you wanted someone that you would spend time with, but, you know, you never even had the time to spend with me. No, we were spending, it's only that, you know, it's no we, we I was working too hard so that I'll raise the money so that you know everything you know, uh, but um yeah there I found uh, she had the attribute the values and also we had the same faith you know that was the most important thing and you know when I went to see um the granny before she passed away she confirmed you know that uh, this one is uh, so I said yeah I had the confirmation from the elders so yeah my grandmother did she say i'm the nice one or she said you are yeah she, she, she told you that you know this one eh? yeah because actually you know, she was like where do these guys come from them was like they are from the lunga clan they was like yeah so like he, as she looked into their eyes she mm. could see that this one is a is a and she was given the confirmation so she didn't hesitate to marry me <laughs> <laughs> all right so i'm trying to Melanie, can you stop? There's a zombie here. Did you take the zombie? Meli? The zombie is coming. That's why you do not even on the internet because the, the kids are always making noise. They're always crying. Huh? How do you know that this guy is the one? How do you know that this one is the one? Is the one. Because you know what? Sometimes you can think that today this one is the one. Then another one comes. Then you'll be like, See, this one is the, the one. one. Then another one comes. They'll be like, this one is the one. So how do you know that this one is the one? I think the first thing that you need to do before we do anything, uh, I think the first thing that you need to do is to pray for him husband a good husband comes from the mm. Lord just oh, like yeah. Yeah, the word also. the word says a good wife comes from comes from the Lord mm. Mm -hmm. so yeah I, I think also um, it's very important uh, to check ne? Mm. where that um, uh, when we were dating mm, that you have the same beliefs mm. with the one that you, you are dating because uh, if you don't have the same beliefs then number one it's a 
is a problem. So when you talk about beliefs, we're talking about your Christian belief or your, your religious beliefs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not Christian. Your religious beliefs. Do you believe in the same God? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you believe in ancestors or in the dead people. Ancestors are the dead ones. Mm -hmm. You believe in God. You believe in Allah. You know, whatever you believe in, make sure that it's you, you believe in the same. same. Because yeah. if I marry this one and he believes in the ancestors and I am a Christian, like a devoted Christian who, who's not going to do umsebens. Because you know people, they have, you know, they Different, yeah. yeah. So then it becomes it a, becomes a problem challenge. because my children they will be they will go go be like no I want to take the kids for um and me I'm like no I'll go mm. go no 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 not with my children then you be like no just allow it she's my mom she raised she raised yeah, me yeah. and then you should tell you it doesn't matter it doesn't know? matter but to you in it, it matters so it creates uh, problems in mm. what in the marriage mm. so the other thing also look for the values you know mm. your your values what do you value. Uh, to someone that to someone that you want to spend time with, because remember when you, you see this thing of uh, marriage or the thing of you being of courtship, it means you are preparing for your marriage, mm. and a marriage is something that is is not a ten. Mm. You, you, when you are in, you are in. Mm. You have to work your way out. <clears throat> How so, do you have to work your way out? Yeah, what I'm saying, um, when God created, He created. Uh, marriage is something that is sacred mm. something that is a union between what husband and wife so god doesn't want us to destroy that thing that he has created mm. amen yeah. so, thank you for reminding yeah mm. so god created marriage is something that uh, is is a union between um, which means it's something that will take you for life mm. so god wants us to be happy so when you are called dating someone know that is someone that is going to make you happy all right and love you uh, and i also think that uh, we should look out for a lot of red flags it's just that unfortunately uh we we don't get to have time to talk about values beliefs because we'll be deeply in yeah, love i was saying yeah we when are, you want to try to talk about those ones uh, you know what baby i love you and uh, uh, so beautiful then the next thing we are kissing we don't even talk you, you get what i'm saying but um instead of take time to sit down and talk and sh share what you think and he shares what you think and put them on what mm -hmm. on the table and mark what the things that you are you know so a brother of mine always says we grew up in a family where there was not love where there was no love a lot of people our age like the 80s the 90s mm -hmm. we grew up in families where there was strife okay in my case and my brother i don't know about you guys say that we are so much hungry for love mm. you know so when this guy comes and say i love you ah uh, you don't have time to be asking about the beliefs be like hey my brother thank you thank you for, for feeling for uttering that word, you know <laughs> yeah, thank you for feeling pity for me thank you for <laughs> yeah. so it is very important for people for young people to sit down talk about your beliefs talk about your values mm. before you commit then if you see that you've got the same values I think maybe it he is the one this so this is subjective it just depends but we're just saying values are important beliefs are important because next thing if you're a woman you find yourself mm. cooking and pouring beer in the graveyards yet when you never raised that that, that way so it is also, very important yeah, yeah. also the other thing that i wanted to talk about it's about also commitment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um when you check how committed he is mm. because i can be committed for only because i just want you for that time mm. so i can commit but uh check his commitment and also check the connection you need to to be connected and it's not about years alone because yeah. i think in, mo in most cases we only talk about trying to protect the girl child and yet the boy child also mm. is in trouble a lot of men they they marry wrong and they they will be in trouble you know of men who are being abused by their yeah. wives and they cannot get out i don't know what charm those ladies that those women will be using mm. so it's not like most cases we're like check him check him check her also mm. check her also yes yeah. Um, yeah. So, but the most thing is the connection when like you know mm. be connected like well, what we we're saying in the in the beginning mm. you need to be connected to the source the source of life which is god when you're connected to the source of life um even him being like we, we come back to the beliefs yeah? 
so which means uh, you go to the same church you know him how spiritual he is how dedicated he is to the things of god which means that uh, even the connection will come because he is connected to the source of of love which is which is which is god mm. okay amen all right um the next point is um unconditional support if he gives you support do you know that there are people who look down upon you as a girlfriend in most mm. cases this mm. is like a male problem like they, he's, he's going to look down upon you whenever you say i've got a dream i want to go to mauritius they'll be like yeah you you know so you need to find somebody who is going to support your dreams mm. because the when you get married it's very difficult for women to thrive like i said i think we, we recorded the first part of this video and there was no audio so we are repeating it's very okay it's very difficult for women to thrive if they don't marry a supportive mm. partner in most cases you find out that you as a lady you stop going to work you raise the kids you're at home and he goes to work he becomes the breadwinner and if he's not supportive in most cases you find that women they end up drowning but these are things that you don't talk about when you see us you'll be like i mm. know ah, this one this is a yellow yeah. bone she's beautiful she doesn't also you don't like, know the struggles that people have in their marriages mm. also the other thing you know before we get into this a plan you know you need to plan about the future like what you're saying mm. how is it going like that's where you share your like uh, your dreams that you have before you even get into what mm -hmm. into this uh, union that you want to get into and also uh, you need to plan that how many kids do you want to have mm -hmm. do you want to have kids how, how where do you want to stay all those kind of things you know you should plan them before you even get what into that union and you know where or she where or he stands yeah, like in like in an instant what you're saying that uh, you need someone who supports you and to like to say okay when I get married I want to finish my my education then someone will say yeah what education or you want you have a dream of opening a company of a cosmetic company or being a big somebody in life then you know they will get crushed you you get crushed you get what I'm saying mm. so you need someone who will be able to support that the dreams was normally you'll be supporting also his dreams that he said oh, i want to do this I said, oh, yes, yes, yes. but when it comes to you then there is no what there is lack of support mm. so you need to know and uh, mm. and and if you are married the, the person that you stay with is your husband so if he so i was saying if you because you, when you get married you, the, the person that you stay with is your husband mm. and if he's somebody who's very negative somebody who does not support you it means that he's going to pull you down Mm. you make sure when, whenever you want to say something i've seen a lot of ladies posting on groups that whenever you try to talk to him he's busy on his phone if you follow him in the bedroom the moment you walk in he sleeps so you have no one and if this person that you're staying with is not a supportive person you're going to drown mm. also the other thing date your friend well, what if i don't have friends yeah what, I'm, what saying, if, mm. well, what I'm saying become friends Mm. Yeah, he has to be your friend so that you, yeah, it's, it's easier than to, you know, to date, to, 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 to meet someone who is not. But are you my friend? Because yes, I'm your friend. <laughs> I am your friend. But you think you, we go to friends? You become you know? friends. Uh. Yeah, it's something that you become friends whereby you'll be open to each other because yeah. in most cases i've seen one thing I've, that i've noticed about men um, a lot of married people especially in my circle whenever they like whenever the wife tries to say ah this is what i mean like ah, okay sharp then they just brush you off they don't have time to talk so i don't know when you're saying you're my friend what, what exactly what do we talk about <laughs> <laughs> what? yeah so that you know uh, this, this kind of this thing of relationship you know it will go smooth and although it is ups and down <sighs> we, we we're not saying marriage is going to be easy or a bed of roses it is it's all right mountains that you have to climb sometimes you have to climb sometimes you have to what to go down you climb and you go down but um uh, one thing is get to know each other and uh, have respect for each other okay i also wanted to say if the guy especially this one is it's more of the guy a guy story if the guy is committed in coming to see you i know of men of women who, who are the ones who are always visiting always visiting and mm. the guy does not put any effort mm. that one is not the one like i, I admire the, the indian community uh this arranged marriage 
because they'll be knowing that this family this family and this family so like when they say you can marry this family remember even in in rural areas they say hey we don't want you to marry these people because they're witches yeah it, we don't want you to marry these guys you don't want so i think if we go back to that you know and see how our marriage is also what Oh, because yeah. families in laws and what they play a very big role mm. in your in mm. your marriage and i actually like the program that my family i think mm. if but mina if i dated your family i was not gonna marry you mm. yeah? why not uh, i don't know but maybe they were gonna give me bad vibes <laughs> 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 yeah this that my family i don't know i think it's subjective i think it's i don't know but i think if you did some if you go talk to these people they talk to the people then you get to know that no this what about if they're trying to protect them? They are, oh, oh. Uh, why you should you protect? Why what are you protecting now? Yeah, so that you, you get married to. Oh, to you are saying if 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 yeah, if like they are witches, saying, then they they, 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 will, they won't tell you that. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Ah, okay. So we are try. We're we gonna try to come back with uh, with more topics because uh, So we're gonna come back again. We will try to get Mr. Longa to come and talk to us. Mm -hmm. In as much as he's a very busy man, but I think uh, we're gonna make a plan. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys for watching, and also let us know what you think in the comment section. But if you are a young lady or a young gentleman searching, um. It is good for you to talk to the Lord and pray mm. to the Lord. He will never leave Let you. you down. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Watch. Bye.